Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to publish your site in Google Sites. Once you've created your site and you're happy with it to go live, you then can click the Publish button that's in the top right hand corner. So this is recently updated, so this guide is just to show you how these updates are now reflected. So once I'm happy, I can click Publish. By default, it will bring in the title of my site. So this is where I can choose what my site will be called. You can see here the long URL that we're given, um, and that's what I will share with others. I can change this if I want, so I can add something else in. Um, there are some words that are restricted, so it might not allow you to insert certain words into your title, but trial and error here uh, will help you to get to the point where you can publish. The next thing you have to do is choose who you want to see your site. So by default, when it says who can view my site, it says here that mine can be seen within my domain. If I was very happy here, I could just click publish. But if I want to change that, I can click on the manage button. So if I click on the manage button, it takes me into this sharing window. Now, this is where I can share it with specific people in the trust. So I can just click on somebody's name. And this is just sharing with them to make them an editor of the site. So if I want to make them an editor, I can just click send and do that. But that's not what I'm doing today. I'm publishing. So at the bottom here, it has links and it says links vary. So I'm going to click change here and then I get some options. So I've got the draft option. And this is, again, if I want to get people to edit my site. So I'm ignoring that for this purpose. But what I'm looking at here is where it says publish site. So as it said before, by default, this is a Lee Academy's Trust, my domain. I can then change that. The other options I have are restricted and public. So if it's restricted, this means I then have to put in the email address of the people, just as I was doing before when I was sharing, I can put in the email address of the people uh, that they might access it. So if I do this for now, so it's restricted there. So that's where then I would put in the email address of a person. And I would say they can be a, a viewer of the published site. So that I can click share and then they would be able to see this. Now, the only trouble with this is you can only put in people with Gmail accounts because the person would have to be signed in to their Chrome browser to be able to see the site. So again, I'm going to change this. Click on change here. So I'm actually going to change it to public. That's my other option. So at the moment it says here, anyone on the internet can find and open. I'm going to click done. I also, before I publish with this setting, I have the option to request Public search engines do not display my site. So I can click this, and if I'm ready to publish, then I can click Publish. Once it publishes, you get a link here saying you can view the site. But then you might want to then change some of these settings. So I'm going to show you how to do that also. Under the drop down, I'm going to Publish Settings. And this allows me to change the search settings and the review settings or the name but it doesn't let me actually change who's actually seeing the site. If I want to do that, I need to click on the Share with Others button. So again, this looks very familiar, and I can click Change. And this is where I could change my public published site setting to the, so again, maybe I want to change it back to my domain. And it's updated, I can click Done, and then that is now restricted. If I want to unpublish my site, I can click on the drop down again and click Unpublish. And just as before, if you do make any changes on your site, you do have to click the Publish button again before those changes are reflected on the live site. 